you know when you sit here and you uh you you spark a topic like I've sparked about you know what is the new dog you get a reaction you <laughs> <laughs> you get a reaction because I've been getting reactions, you know what I'm saying? Because now I know that, I, you know, it has to be making sense or something because, you know, we see the new dog, right? I mean, um, clearly every single original American bully that was being created was a bigger dog. It came from bigger dog lineage. Every single American bully that was being created was coming from bigger dog lineage. There was no way it could have changed. And this is how you know that Razor's Edge was a complete breed. When you have the band dog, the ruffian dog, the watchdog, which them three dogs right there could have made the breed. Then you had the Ryan dog, and you had the pit bull terrier dog. And there was Staffordshire, <laughs> there was Staffordshire terrier blood in there. There was already all the bull breeds there. How the heck can you say? It was still under construction. Count the breeds. And, you know, maybe a lot of people might want to say, well, there was an American bulldog in there, too, just to claim that there was a bulldog in there. Just to claim that there was a bulldog in there. They'll say that there is American bulldog in there, too. OK, we'll throw him in. He's still big. He's still big. Even if you threw him in, he's still big. Right. So you got the watchdog, and some of these dogs are guard dogs. You know, you got to remember the pit bull terrier is the only dog right here that really probably loves the hell out of people and the staff. All the dogs probably love people, but if the doors was closed and you wasn't there, there's a few dogs right here, watchdog, band dog. That yeah, might have not would have let you in the yard. See, these dogs were in the razor's edge. And you said that the breed was still under construction. It probably could have been, says the person who was putting it under construction, though, not the community. I can't see how a community would say it was, it was under construction. When you can count the dogs, because it takes a certain amount of breeds, right? Because you know how, I mean, man, you're going to end up saying these things that I'm saying. It takes a certain amount of breeds to breed a dog. Well, you had Watchdog. You had Pitbull Terrier. Band Dog. Ruffian Dog. Ryan Dog. And a lot of y'all want to push the American Bulldog, which would have made six dogs. But without the American Bulldog, would have made five dogs that made the Razor's Edge blood. <clears throat> I don't know. If you got an original Edge dog, original one. You know, if you got an original Remy or something like that, because Remy was, was Edge too. If you got an original Remy or something like that, original Edge, hey, that's a breed, man. That is a breed. I mean... You can't say it's not a breed. It's it's a breed. It's a breed. It's 20 years old. You know, it, it was what it was until it left its original homeland. You know, once it came to California, it became a different dog, too. She had different kennels coming in, you know, Gray Line and Gotti Line, Blue, uh, Blue Line. Uh, you know, you had different kennels coming in. Um, they was coming in, man. They was coming in. So, 
you know, then the dog started to change because everybody wanted to put their own stamp on something. But the original Edge, that dog had to be already complete with five dogs in it and a, and a possible. I'm going to say five in a P. Because the, uh, the American Bulldog, that was a P. Uh, come on, man. The person who made the dog didn't say he added American Bulldog to it. But, you know, there were some people behind closed doors who knew him. But he didn't say it. I mean, why would he hide that one specific dog? Why would he hide that dog? Because some of the dogs that were bred didn't even have tails. They didn't even have tails, you know? When you look at them, when I was looking at the band dogs on the... Uh, on this, on this uh, YouTube right here, they didn't even have tails. I like to look at the AKC dogs. So I, I'm, I'm looking at dogs and I'm looking at their features and not, there's no possible way any one of these dogs could have mutated. Now, when the edge itself touched another dog, then that's when it became not edge no more. I mean... They said that, that, you know, it was said that Razor's Edge was supposed to end up looking like King Kamali. A samurai Paco look. Start taking on all type of different features from King Kamali and Samurai Paco. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They hella bigger than King Kamali. Some of them smaller than King Kamali. King Kamali ain't really that big. In height, nice size. Man, you get to comparing them to some of the new dogs, then it's going to be a problem, right? The new dogs. Because they are new when you start looking at the pedigree. And then, you know, you can see, you now you can really see the exotics that have been added to the programs. And some of the dogs aren't real exotic dogs like that. they bigger. They big, exotic-looking dogs, but you can look at his face and tell that he got a bulldog in him. You got people that say they think that's essential to the program. Well, that's a new blood in being introduced. And, and on top of that, it was it's not a big trait unless you're introducing the American bulldog. Because any other bulldog is not a big trait. And all the big, big, bigger dogs were the ones that were implementing into the program of making Razor's Edge. There was no little dogs. At least that's what the makers say. And it's like, now you look at the dogs and they smaller and breathing all hard. <coughs> and it's like, damn, listen to them breathe. Because sometimes you can breed them like so short with a big old head and it just it messes all of the uh, larynx up <laughs> you know what I mean everything in there is just messed up the vocal cords are constantly being scratched because of this dog <clears throat> eventually he's gonna choke probably gonna choke on his own spit choke on his own throw up or something when dogs were running and, and playing catch. and The band dog is a dog, that's a hog dog. Like I said, that band dog probably would be a dog that wouldn't actually let you on his property if, if the owner wasn't around. Watch dog probably wouldn't either. They go after a pig and you got the pit bull terrier that's inside of the uh, the razor's edge. You know, the pit bull Terry bring that spark. Once he locked down on some, his bite was vicious. That's why I say what happened to the dog's teeth. Because the dogs they came from had bite. Even a, even a Staffordshire Terrier got bite. Even a Staffordshire Terrier has bite. I would imagine Blue River's... Uh, Shorty bulls have bite. Uh, 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 
Staffordshire cross to a uh, English Bulldog cross to a Frenchie. Shit, them first two dogs got bite. That English Bulldog and that and a real one, you know, and the, and the uh, real Staffy. So the so the so the American Bully had to have bite. It had to because it came from them dogs that had bite. Now they don't have a muzzle to have bite. That ain't no bully. That ain't no bully because that's changing the standard. And you and you clearly see what the standard says. You clearly see what the standard says. You clearly see what the standard says. You you clearly see the heritage in the background of the dogs. That ain't no bully. That's not no no bully. And it was it's not it wasn't uh necessary to have to put a bulldog in the program. No, it wasn't. In no shape, form, or fashion. You know, there was a mystery bulldog. We already know the American bulldog, right? That's just the mystery dog they threw in there. But then again, it could have been in there until somebody, you know, that's just a mystery dog. But then you got You got this mystery dog. So now you got people coming through and they want to, you know, since it's in their mind, there was a bulldog at it. They're going to add a different bulldog. But it was, the bulldog you're adding, the masses are adding. I like to call them the masses. The bulldogs that their masses are adding, even if you're adding a bulldog, you are not adding an American bulldog. This is the reason why when you look at some of the American bullies paperwork, because I look at them on Pad X, and you can see that some of the dogs got exotics on their pads. Short dogs. Small dogs. Like he ain't an actual bulldog, you know? He ain't an actual bulldog. But you can tell that that dog has a bulldog lineage. They're all over on Pet X. They're all over. They're all over on Pet X. They're all over. Dogs that have a bulldog ancestry because of the exotics that, you know, snuck their way into the pedigree. Yeah, go look at some of these dogs' pedigrees. It man, look, man, you you probably ain't gonna never have no real bully if you don't get no edge dog. I can tell you this for sure. You may not never ever have, even me, a real bully unless you get an edge dog. And man, you know what I'm saying? Getting them, getting them edge dogs. And I'm talking about probably the ones that don't even got West Coast dogs in them. Just the one that Dave did. See, Dave had edge. It was done. When he had it, when he put five dogs in there, he did that himself. You don't call that done? He probably had help doing it because you just don't, you know, there was somebody there. But there were dogs before they, that dog got to the West Coast. That dog didn't have none of the dogs in it that it got in it right now. Oh, man, I'm not trying to say West Coast, that's where I'm at right now too, West Coast, man, I'm not trying to say we polluted the dog with Bulldog, I'm not trying to say that, but I am making a statement, I guess, the dog went a different direction when it left Dave's hands, when it left Razor's Edge, and there's no way I mean, absolutely no way. If you just look at the way that the dog was put together, that you could clearly say that he wasn't a done American bully. He was done. There was nothing else you could do to him. First of all, there was no other dog Dave could have had it. Unless he would have added Bulldog. I mean, he traveled to get the best dogs. To get the best blood. Even if the dog wasn't that pretty. He still got that blood. 
And none of that shit. Nah, excuse my friend. None of that stuff was bulldog. Well, that's what the man said. None of it was bulldog. If the dog now you seeing is changing, there's something that's changing, and then you need to uh say what it is. It ain't edge that's changing the dog. It's a bulldog that's changing the dog. But which one? And then you got Merle's. Oh, man. You know what I mean? It's like it's like the dogs are just changing. So now, you know what? Every single person needs to address the change and start talking about what made it change. What made the dog change? Why did he change? Because you changed it. What you, what you change it with? What the dog changed with? That's what... That's what is the big problem right now is nobody is saying what changed the dog. That's what the big problem is right now. That's what the big problem is right now. Nobody is really saying what changed that dog. And if and if you can't say what changed the dog, then you're creating a mutt. You're creating a mutt that we, you know what I'm saying? If we can't know about it, then you're creating a mutt. You got to be creating a mutt. You got to be creating the mud. Anything that you create, we're supposed to be able to know about it because it's the creation of an animal. It's the creation of a dog. We're supposed to be able to know about it. Literally. We don't know about this new dog. Don't know nothing about it. So, you know, that's the problem number one in itself. It's what makes the new dog... And you have to let us know because we let you know where May Razor's edge. I'm putting, you know, there's many of people besides me that'll tell you because I can't do nothing but tell you what he said. But he ain't say nothing about no bulldog. <laughs> that's a lie. That right there, that's a lie. Now, was the dog still under construction? For what? No, it wasn't under construction. That's a new lie being told. It gotta be. Why would the dog be under construction? It's 20 years old. And it got all the, the bull breeds in there already. And you finna come over here with a bulldog and destroy all that. Yeah, it was, it was done, man. Come on, man. I mean, you finna come over here with a bulldog, an exotic dog, and destroy all of that. Something that you can't put back together even if you threw in all your bulldogs. You still can't put this edge dog back together once you destroy it with that bulldog blood. You can't put it back together no more. So, therefore, you should just leave them original. If you got original dogs, leave them original. You know, take one dog and go make you a new dog. But don't take your all your edge dogs and go and breed that shit to something new and destroy your dogs. You should not do that. I'm telling you, you should not do that because it has to be a breed, man. It has to be the face of the bully. There's five different dogs in there, including a pig. <laughs> five different dogs, including a pig, man. That, that American Bulldog is a possible, man. It's a possible. There's five bulldogs in there, including the P. The American bulldog is a P. Because you ain't showed, and ain't nobody else going to show, they breed no American bulldog. And if you can't show that, then you can't say that. And if you can't say that I got the, the, the litter that me and Dave put together, then you, you can't say that. You know, when it comes down to facts and producing... You can't say that. So you have to produce. And right now, you have to produce. You have to produce a fact that Dave, and I ain't saying he did because I know he didn't, put that damn bulldog up in there. No, he didn't. <laughs> That's y'all. <laughs> That's y'all right there. 
That's y'all. That's y'all. And I think he came from us on the West. Real facts. He could have came from us on the West. That American Bulldog breeding, let's just keep it facts. He could have came from us on the West. Gotti line did appear. Gotti line was gray line, right? <clears throat> but everybody want to branch off. Everybody want to do their thing. They don't want to remain gray line. You take two dogs, you breed them together. If they from gray line, the puppies come out, they gray line. Even though it didn't happen like that with Remy, they called it Remy line. But we both, we all really know that, you know, if the dogs came as a breeding pair, no matter, no matter what name you gave them, if they came as a breeding pair from a certain dog, yeah, they are what they are. So you don't want to keep breeding to gray line. So what you do, you add something. You either add something, you go outside your yard and do something. Something's going to happen when you go outside your yard. Sometimes <clears throat> sometime we need to get to the bully facts and stop talking to names, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, just get to the facts. Because, like, the fact of the matter is the dog didn't change until it left Edge's hands. Edge knew what they wanted. They knew what direction they was going, the direction of King Kamali. That is the direction of the Razor's Edge. That is the direction of the American Bully. Any other direction is yours. I don't care what direction you're going. That's your direction, though. Because that wasn't the direction of the American Bully. The direction of the American bully was King Kamala, Samurai Paco. Now you got a new dog. You gotta say what makes the new dog. I need to know, inquire minds wanna know. What makes him so small? What makes him longer? How is his head getting so big? From what dog? That look like a uh, English bulldog trait. It was said that the watchdog was used for a headpiece when it came to making up Razor's Edge, the face of the bully. Man, how can you not say this dog ain't the face of the bully when it's one of the onlyest dogs that you, you know what made it? It's the only dog that you know what exactly made it. It's the only dog, when you look at his pedigree, it ain't filled up with dogs that are colorful. And they have names. And your dog got to be bred three times that name. Two times that name. These are names. These wasn't, these, ain't, these names that you have, they are not what uh, was used to create Edge. Edge, it was blood used to create Edge. The blood, the dog that had the blood might have had a name, but it was blood used, genetics used to create Razor's Edge. The genetic of the ruffian dog, the genetic of the Ryan dog, the genetic of the watch dog, huh? the genetic of the pit bull terrier, the genetic of the Staffordshire terrier. The genetic of the band dog. Those are genetics that made the razor's edge. Not a name. You look at most of these dogs, they got names that made the dog. But this dog wasn't complete though, huh? That's a lie. It had to be complete. <laughs> it had to be complete. Face the bully like we always do around this time. Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully, man, where I like to talk about dogs, preferably your dog and mine. Chilling over there, sitting right there, sleeping. She lazy right now. She just being lazy. Like to sit by me. Bigger dogs, man. What happened to them? Because if you uh got a little dog, 
Then what made him smaller, man? How come we can't know? It's a secret. It's a secret to what made the dog smaller. It shouldn't be a secret. You should be willing to tell us. And when you get ready to tell me, please, please, please chime in and let me know. Please do me a favor, though. Hit the like button. You want to know what? We got to get the dog videos floating through the algorithm, man. We got to. We, You know what? We in a race with other, with other channels and stuff, man. We in a race to see if we can blow up the dog nation. Let's blow it up. I'm talking about, you know, genetics of a dog. What made the razor's edge? You got other people showing dogs. Man, we out here, man, talking about these dogs. New people are popping up all the time. Our hearts are felt for the dogs, man. They felt for the dogs. So, you know, in order for it to float through the algorithm, we're going to need you guys to hit that like button. We're going to need you guys to tell a friend, please. <laughs> you know, you got to say please. <laughs> and you know what I mean? I'm going to tune back in, man, and talk to y'all again, man, right here on Facebook. <laughs>